So in this part, we are going to continue from where we stopped. In the previous class, we were able to set up the home pages of different modules. So for instance, the fleet home contains um, the number of items for the fleet. So I'm going to show you later on. But today, we are going to be working on countries. So if I go to manage countries, we have a list of countries right here. And we are going to be having creating this form to add a new country right here and we have these buttons as well so we can exit we can also save so we are going to be creating the page to add a new country but we are not going to be writing the logic for now we are simply going to work on this UI using bootstrap to create this page and also add these buttons so this I have already done here so but this is not the application we are going to be using so let me go now and close this and open the one we are working with all right, so this is where we are. So if you go to fleet, we have the fleet home, we have a vehicle, vehicle hires and everything. So this is where we stopped from the previous class. But if I go to parameters, go to parameters home, go to countries, we don't have any button right here. And we don't have any uh, page for adding a new country. So let's go do it right now. So the first thing we want to do is, we are going to go to the templates and create a new page for adding country. So if I go to parameters, we have this country list. So we are going to create a new page. We are going to call it country add. So we have country list, country add, and country edit. We are going to be doing it this way because we want to avoid using JavaScript because we want to use best practice. We want to avoid using scripts as much as possible. I want to create country add. So there is a country add, and we also need to add the controller for it. So I'm going to the controller method for it. So I'm going to uh, parameters as well here in the parameters module and go to controllers, country controllers. And we are going to create a new uh, method to serve this page. So I'm going to say get mapping. This time I'm going to slash country add so this method is simply going to return the page the html page so i'm going to simply return parameters slash country add i think this is quite like so here this error is coming because i didn't have this annotation right here okay so we have this right now the, so the next thing we want to do is to make this page <laughs> we have a whole lot of things open here so let me just close up a few things. So let me just um, and, uh, let me just close up others. Close others. So I want to make this page to use the template because now this ordinary page. So if I go to if I go to Google, I simply type template page Spring Boot Kyneton template page Spring Boot Kyneton and you, it takes you to this place. Click on the second one that says how to use a layout page in Spring Boot. So simply scroll down and have the content page here. So we have to take the HTML markup right here and replace the HTML markup here. And we also have to delete the head from here. And in case of the body, we are going to also pick the markup for the body uh, the layout for the body right here. So I'm going to just copy it and use it inside the body tag. All right, so this page should work. So if I refresh this page right now and I go to slash countries or slash country ads, I should be able to access this page. So if I go at this point to uh, slash country ad, we should be able to see this page for now it is empty. All right, so I want to now, uh, first I would like to add a button to the country list that takes us to this page so that we don't have to be going always to type in the, in the browser, in the, in the address bar of the browser. So as you know, we have the uh, assets we already have. You know how to get to this place. This is in my file system. So go to, I mean, this is a template we downloaded, so you can always get anything from there. And I'm going to go to form elements. If I scroll down, I have 
a number of things here you have these buttons here i would like to use so it's called form in model so it's in the form component so let's go to our asset and look for it so if i go to my template go to asset and go to form components and i'm going to search for come on uh form in model remember form in model okay so this is the section we want to use so i'm going to kind of collapse this so i think it should be this place so i'm going to simply um let me see um let me just collapse this collapse this collapse this and collapse this all right so i think we are we have to use uh um this panel here so let me just copy it and just use it so i'm going to copy it here and go to the country list because we only need one single button so if I go back to country list, so let's go to parameters and go to country list and we are simply going to add this. Let's see. So we are going to add it. We are going to add it. I think we should add it right here on top um, inside the row, but on top here. Yeah. And then we are going to delete all of this. Okay, so we only need these buttons here. And I, th I think I should delete the two bu additional buttons here. Okay, so at this point in the country list, we should have a button, but I want this button to, it's not going to be data model. So I'm going to take out the data model toggle and have a HRF. I'm going to use the text here to be a new country. And I want to have the href is going to be slash country add. Okay. So if I run this now, I should have a button available in the country lists um, page that takes me to the country add page. So if we go back to our page here and I go back to parameters, parameters home, and go to countries, you have this country here, and I can just click on it, it takes us to the country add page. But you can see that this. Um, you can see something is not right here. You can see the uh, the background here for this button does not actually work so well. So I think we have to, uh, let me see. So I think we have to move this panel inside the, we have to move this panel, just a second, inside this place okay so that should solve the problem so how the first session displays a button and the second session dis displays a table so let's run it just to make sure it works and then we focus on the on the other one which is the actual form so if i run it now uh so i think it's displaying twice i don't know why so uh i forget to remove the original one so let me just remove the original one so now i think everything should be fine so the next thing I'd like us to do now, yeah, I think it should be fine for now. So we'll go to new country, it comes here. We now want to display a form that serves to, to be entry form, data entry form for countries. All right, so let's again go to search for a form that we can use. I think we can use this one because forms have, I think, five different items. So I think we can use this one. So it's color pickers, dates, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go look for it. It's still the same inside form component. So let's go to form component and look for date picker. So I'm gonna say date picker. Okay, so this is the date picker stuff here. So, um, so we are gonna copy the entire row. Yeah, so we have this entire row here. Um, so let's just check. So we have this um let's just make sure we don't make any mistake let's copy the entire row so this is a complete row let's copy it and then we are going to then delete <laughs> this column okay so i've copied the complete row and i'm going to the country add table and i'm going to uh paste it right here and you can see that there are two columns there i'm going to simply delete one column from there Let's run it to just make sure everything works. So let me stop and rerun and let's just make sure everything works before we move ahead. 
So if I go back to the our application, so I'm going to go back to parameters, parameters home, we have country list here, new country, and we have this page here. Although things are not looking quite well, so let's clean it up a little bit. So one thing we can do is maybe we can move this item a little bit to the center, not exactly at the center, it depends on what you want, but it doesn't necessarily need to be in the center. So first let's clean up to use the actual uh, country fields that we already have. So I'm going to drop down here and I'm going to uh, change this first to say add new country record. And next I'm going to drop down here. So instead of using date picker here, I'm going to say this is going to be description or the country name. So let's just say country name or let's leave it as description for now because that's actual name of the field. And the next one is going to be uh, capital. And the next one is going to be, this one is going to be nationality. And the next one is going to be uh, capital nationality. And we have description capital continent. I remember is continent. And finally, we should have the code, the country code. All right. So. Now we have a number of things we need to remove. For instance, if we go here, we have this disabled, we have all these values here, we want to remove them. So to do that, we first come to, let's start from the first one. So we have the label, we have the, the next div, okay. The second one, we have the label, and we have a number of things that we don't need. So I'm going to start by taking out these, and taking out these as well. And now we have, the form control here, I'm going to take out the value and as well as the read only, okay, like this. And that is fine. I'm going to, why do we have this? Okay, I think I need to remove this one more div tag, okay. All right, so if I go down to the next one, I also will like to, um, so we don't need, we have, we only need one div tag, so I'm going to take out this div input prepend. We don't need any input prepend. We just need an input which is going to be text. Later, we are going to worry about the ID. For now, I'm going to remove the ID as well. I'm going to the next one, the continent, and this should be fine. I simply have to take out the value from here, and the class should be form control. It's not CP1 form, form control, just form control. And the last one, which is a country code, I'm going to just remove everything that is not needed. So it's going to be type is equal to text, class is equal to form control. So I think this should be how it should be. So let's just test to make sure everything is fine. So I'm going to stop and rerun and let's go check how it looks like. All right, so I'm going to come back here and just refresh the page. And I think it's looking good now. And the first one is not quite well, so let me just go fix this. Uh, so I'm gonna just take out this value from the first one. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is to um, kind of move this to the center. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to come to um, the call LG, let's make it call LG8. And what I'm going to do next now is optional. So I'm going to kind of collapse this and I'm going to place the, I'm going to place everything inside a container. So I'm going to say D. Now this is optional, you don't have to do it. Class is equal to container. And put the next, the closing D is going to be right here. The, okay, so I say class is equal to container and style is equal to width, um, say seventy percent. So again, you don't have to do this, but I think it makes some sense. So now, if everything looks good, we now have to add the buttons. Uh, oh, we have an error here. Why do we have this body here? Okay, so let's just check. Yeah, so this is what I wanted to achieve and this is fine. 
So what I want to do now is let's now, instead of this tags input here, I want to remove it and use actual buttons. And remember we used the button before now, so let's go to use the button we used in country list. So it should be somewhere here, so it's going to be this one. So let's just copy this first part, because in country list, this first one is actually the, let's just, let me just show you. So if I go back to parameters, country list. So this first part is what I'm copying to contain the button, but the button I'm going to be talking about now is button for save and cancel. All right, so I've copied the first part. I'm going back to the add. So now we have the row we have here. I'm going to collapse this, collapse this. So we have the session here. We have, yeah, so instead of having the this section here that says input tags, I have a section that says input tags. I'm going to place the section we copied across. I'm going to paste it here, which contains one single button. You can see uh, inside the panel body, one single button. So let me just make it, put it just in one line. This button is just in one line. But now it's not going to be new country, it's going to be save. Okay, save is going to be BTN success, BTN success. Um, and we need another one that says cancel. So let me just copy and paste. If I'm too fast, please uh, just pause the video or just let me know. So here is going to be exit. And if we are exiting, we are going back to slash countries. Okay, so if we exit from the trying to add and we change our mind to exit, we go back to the country list. That's what we're going to do. And if you're exiting, normally it's going to be BTN warning. Are you sure you want to exit? Something like that. So it's going to be warning. It's not success. Okay. So I'm going to refresh the page and let's see what we have. All right. So why we spend a little bit of time in this, in this very part is because this form, we are going to be using it uh, in case of every other uh, aspect of form, um, filling of forms and submission. So we are going to be using this kind of form so you can see it's quite easy to understand. So if I save, nothing happens, but if I exit, it goes back to the, to the original page. If I, if I go to new countries, it comes here. So this is exactly what we want to do. Um, there's something I wanted to do. So here you can say call LG12, and it can actually make your form look a little better. So let's see how it looks like using call LG12. So if I refresh this page, you can see it looks a little better now. So this is fine. So this is the kind of form we are going to be using. So I'm going to like, I would like to stop here. I'll, in the next part, we are now going to write the controller logic to actually grab data from here and insert it into the database. It's going to be really easy because we are not going to be playing around with jQuery or, or JavaScript. We are not going to be doing that. This is the best practice where you have separate pages for add and for the list, okay? Again, remember to subscribe to my channel and also if you have any challenges whatsoever, please let me know in the comment box below. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.